Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a really cool space looking wallpaper effect inside of Adobe Photoshop version CS4. Now, what you're going to be getting is you're going to be getting a wallpaper sort of like this, with sort of like the uh, star flare in the background with the uh, cloudy galaxy and the stars right in the background here. So, anyway, I'm going to show you how to make a wallpaper like this inside of Adobe Photoshop version CS3, and it will also work in version CS4. Now before we go ahead and start the tutorial, I just want to say that I didn't find, find this out myself. I found this by watching a tutorial from AlexLA09. Uh, I just wanted to say that, so I'm not taking all the credit away for this. So anyway, let's go ahead and start up this video. So first we want to go ahead and open up Adobe Photoshop. Then we go, want to go up here to File and New. And then here where it has uh, your name, just type in whatever you want to make. I'm going to make it space base background and then here where it says width and height make it, make sure you set it to your screen resolution mine is 1280 by 800 so I'm gonna keep it like that make sure all the settings are like this except for your, put in your custom dimensions here and then just go ahead and click OK and then we want to go here up to edit and then fill and then fill the background in black and so once it's filled in black we want to go ahead and make a new layer and we want to go ahead and select our gradient tool and now once we have our gradient tool selected, go ahead and make sure that it's set on this mode right here, which is radial gradient. Then we go in and set our gradient. And so we want to make sure that we have this color right here set to a very dark blue. Like if I click on it, I have the blue set to around here. And then this we want to set to a sort of dark blue, but sort of more towards black. And we want to make it sort of uh, like a quarter of the way over on this side right here. And just go ahead and click OK and then click into the middle or anywhere around the middle and click and drag off to the right side of the screen. And then you should see this uh, gradient pop up right here. So now that we have that, we want to go down here and create a new layer and we want to go ahead and select our brush tool. And then once we have the brush tool selected, make sure we can make the foreground color here white. And then we want to go up to window and then brushes or go ahead and click on this little icon right here and then make sure that we have shape dynamics and scattering ticked and then here on shape dynamics make sure you set the size jitter to 100 percent and the minimum diameter to zero make sure the control is set on pen pressure make sure that the angle jitter is set to around 15 percent the uh, roundness jitter is set to zero and the minimum roundness is set to zero keep all the settings like this and then here on the scattering box make sure that the scatter is set to 502 percent and then make sure the count and the count jitter are off then once you have that you can go ahead and close the window and then just start clicking around the screen and making your brushes so just make your brushes and this is going to be sort of like your stars in the background so just make them all over the screen and they are going to scatter around because we have the scattering effect so they're not all going to be the same so just finish up making my stars here and I think that's good for that so now that we have our stars and our video and background we want to go down here and create a new layer and then once again we go up to edit fill and black now this is only temporary so once we have our black fill we want to go ahead and add in a lens flare so go up to filter render then lens flare then make sure the brightness is set at 100% and that the lens type is set at 105 millimeter prime. Make sure you have it set to around the center and then click OK. And then you should see a lens flare sort of like this. And so once we have that, we want to go over here to the mode and here where it says normal, we want to click on that and set that to screen. And then you should see our stars in the background here. Now once we have our stars and our lens flare, we want to go down and create another new layer and then go down here and set the primary color or the foreground color to black. Then we go up to filter, render, clouds, and then it has the clouds come up like this. Then once again we go over here to normal and then go ahead and click on overlay. And then we have the effect like this with the cloudy galaxy or a space in the background with a star. And then we have the, uh, the uh, stars in the background. And so then you can go ahead, create a new layer, add whatever text you want to, then just go up to file and save as. And I save it to space background. JPEG to my desktop, click save, click OK. Then I go ahead and close that. And then 
we have our space background like this, just the way we want to. And so anyway, that is how to make a cool space background in Adobe Photoshop. You can use either version CS3 or CS4. And so I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, just so I don't take away all the credit, I'm going to leave a link to this video, which I watched in the description. And so anyway, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. This has been a quick video on how to make that wallpaper in Photoshop. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.